Where's your cup? Over there. I didn't use the sippy cup, it's still clean. Apparently, you hate my sippy cup. No, I just hate you. Aww. You hurt my feeling. <laughs> the one. <laughs> See, those guys like me, you're fucked. Go ahead, go on. <laughs> Good day, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. The Commander and the Rhino, and we are drinking Brassa Chop. Brassa Chop is made. That's is made. A, that's such a shitty label. <laughs> well, that's because <laughs> it's made at the Niagara <laughs> College Tea I know, but it doesn't matter. It makes me laugh. It's really funny to look at. It's 5.5% alcohol. Chop is a fresh Brazilian type of beer brought to you through a unique partnership between the Niagara College Teaching Brewery and Brassa Brazilian Steakhouse, a crisp, refreshing style of beer made to accompany Brazilian fare on a hot, sunny day. Well, it's not hot and it's not sunny. It's not a day. This isn't Brazilian food reading. We're going to drink this anyway. Two of those things Ooh, looks refreshing. Water. Looks like a light lager, but it's 5.5% alcohol. Like it actually looks like a watered down. Actually, it almost looks like a watered down Coors. So Corona. I know. Hmm. It smells a little bit like canned tuna. Can I? I'm gonna smell. <laughs> It smells like, like salmon, a salmon, sparkling. <laughs> it smells like sparkling urine. No, it's not. It smells like canned tuna. Okay, well. Uh, oh. I might okay. be her glass. Yeah, I don't know. Or her. Yeah. <laughs> because really, it smells like your average. <laughs> That's a good thing. Actually, yeah, like smell that. it out of this. This smells like almost like a strongbow, just not as not as. I did have some of the. the oh, it does smell like cider. Yeah, cool. I had it smells very cidery. In there before it. <clears throat> That's why you rinse your cup. Well, I didn't have time because I forgot it over there. And... I offered you the sippy cup. Yeah, it it smells a lot like cider to me. It smells very. It does. It's sparkling, like a cider. very. It smell yours. Very almost dry, just off the smell. No, oh, you're just kind of saying. I smell canned tuna. Wow, I thought I was the only one that was ever no, going to do that. Absolutely not. Um, wow! Get back in there, Bettles. No. Get back in there. Do you want me to finish it? Can you do it? Yes. I'll do it. I'll take over. Oh, all right. Yeah. No, 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 you're in there for drinking more of that. Oh, oh God, okay. All right, well, this looks like a sippy cup. Don't drink the spittle brow there. No, no, I know. That's, that's all you. That's good. I don't need to... No, it's I'm not that bad. bad. It's not great. It's just... No, something about it. I don't know. It smells like canned tuna. It tastes I mean, disgusting. <laughs> Taste-wise, when I drink it, I wouldn't want to drink it on its own like I am right it now. It really does smell a bit like, like urine. I'm not gonna, you know. Drink it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got two spit takes, one review. Okay, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. That was just really weird. Because it literally just tasted like apple juice, and I thought it was gonna taste like piss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I yeah. got a little freaked out, but I think I'm okay. No. It tastes like fermented apple juice. It this is good. Cidery. Yeah, I it's not beer. <laughs> I, I wouldn't classify this as beer, but it's like. Um, I had the fizzy wig in there. Before. Whoa, that Did you really rinse scared it? me at first. Yeah, this pass is this to Paul. There's some left. Oh, yeah. You're supposed to rinse it, it in between. It, that was, that was really weird. Camera. Camera. That was that really weird. It kind of tastes like a, like the, what was it, like a, the, the apple ale that uh, the no, Niagara Brewing Company used to I get the apple, but I get a pork flavor, too. Like apple pork. pork? Pork. Nice one. We got pork, tuna, apples, and urine. <laughs> <laughs> really, though, like I was saying, I, I could easily see this being a great food pairing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, which is what it was made for. It was made for To be great with, with pork. Yeah. Not as pork, but good <laughs> with pork. <laughs> and I mean, that's, that's what I think is going on here. I think it was yeah. made mostly as a food pairing beer. Um, taste wise, it it's not great right now, but as I'm drinking it, I could see the flavors it could bring out. They should really warn about that first sip. 
Because it does not, it doesn't come across like you're drinking beer at all right away. See, the only reason I didn't do a spit take is I've drank three bottles of this already, Ugh. so I know what it's supposed to taste like. Did you want to spit first, the first one? Though? The first one I thought it was it was weird yeah. and fucked and. But uh, you know, they they really should put a warning. Please swallow the first sip. You'll like it. We promise. You know, or whatever. This is great because it's once you, once you get past that, it's fucking fantastic. I'm afraid. So once you get past the spit What's take, mm-hmm. it's the I'm afraid. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. No, I'm afraid. I'm not. Gonna okay, so Burns, we're gonna do a round the room review of the everyone's numbers here. From me, personally, if it wasn't for, if it was food paired, it would probably be a nine. But since that's not food paired, I'm going to give it like a seven. I'd buy it again, but I'd buy it again to drink it at like a barbecue or something. Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah, th- yeah, this would be perfect um, hanging around outside and sucking back pork. Yeah. Um, but I mean, as a drink itself, I, I don't know. Sucking back I'm, pork. Sucking back pork. <laughs> yeah, that's what James is well known for. Yep. Uh... I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm going to give this an 8. I'm digging it. It did scare me, but, uh, you know, it bounced back pretty hard. This is good. Biddles? Zero, because I took one sip, spit it, it out, and then I was scared of it. Has a zero it's happened before? More worse beers yeah, than we actually named somebody zero because of it. All right, because I know, I, know I, I was here for the one when it was the, the Chinese near beer. beer. I didn't even right. spit out the baby puke beer. Uh, uh, toss? Gluten-free. Number? I give it a seven and a half. Aww. Oh. Yeah, I give it an 8. Yeah, yeah this... Other than great. Karina, who only likes crap beer, I don't know this why. is pretty good. Uh, again, you have to drink it knowing that it should be paired with something. See? It shouldn't be on its own. Knowing that, okay, because yeah, no. I guess the label sort of said that though. But yes. I don't know. Wait, what happened to yours? Hmm? Uh, you yes. <laughs> oh, you're taking a spittle brow. Yeah, I am. I'm doing. Do a company Brazilian fair on a hot sunny day. <laughs> Thank yeah, you but... for watching YouTube. All right. Bye. Not everybody knows.